Hello friends, in the last two videos we have spoken about uh, the classification and description of speech sounds according to the position of vocal cords and according to the place of articulation. In this video we will talk about the description of consonants according to the manner of articulation. The manner of articulation is the way in which a particular sound is produced. According to the manner of articulation, sounds are classified as plosives, affricates, fricatives, nasals, lateral, glottal, frictionless continuant, and semi-vowels. Let's try to understand each of these in detail. During the production of plosive sounds, soft palate is raised to shut the nasal passage. There is a structure of complete closure in the oral cavity. The air pressure is built behind the closure. The closure is suddenly removed, causing an explosive noise. The examples of plosive sounds are p, b, t, d, k, g. T is voiceless bilabial plosive. B is voiced bilabial plosive. T is voiceless alveolar plosive. D is voiced alveolar plosive. K is voiceless velar plosive. G is voiced velar plosive. Fricates. Affricates are produced as the plosives are produced. That is, soft palate is raised to shut the nasal passage. There is a stricture of complete closure somewhere in the oral cavity. The air pressure is built behind the closure and the closure is gradually removed. As the closure is gradually removed, there is no explosive noise and there is no audible friction. As there is no audible friction, these sounds are called affricates. Ch and j are the examples of affricates in English. Ch is voiceless post-alveolar affricate and j is voiced post-alveolar affricate. Fricatives. During the production of fricative sounds, the soft palate is raised to shut the nasal passage. There is no complete closure but a narrowing in the oral cavity. The air is released through this narrowing. This causes audible friction. Therefore, these sounds are called fricative sounds. There are nine fricative sounds in English. And are the nine fricative sounds in English. Are labiodental fricatives. Are dental fricatives. Are alveolar fricatives. Are palato alveolar fricatives. And is a glottal fricative. Nasal. During the production of nasal sounds, soft palate is lowered so that nasal passage is open. Closure is formed in the oral cavity and the air is released through the nasal cavity. Therefore, the sounds are called nasal. M, M and M are the three nasal sounds in English. All the three nasal sounds in English are voiced. M is voiced by labial nasal. M is voiced alveolar nasal. And M is voiced vela nasal. Lateral. During the production of lateral sounds, soft palate is raised. Nasal passage is blocked. There is a complete closure somewhere in the mouth. And air is released from the sides of the closure. Therefore, the sound is called lateral. U is the only lateral sound in English. It's voiced alveolar lateral. During the production of frictionless continuant, nasal passage is closed. Lesser degree of narrowing is there. As there is a lesser degree of narrowing, there is no audible friction. And therefore, sound is called frictionless. And as the sound continues, it is called continuant. 
there is only one frictionless continuant in English. It is R. It is voiced post alveolar frictionless continuant. In the production of semi vowels, nasal passage is blocked. There is no structure of closure like other consonants. It is just an approximation. Therefore, semi vowels are partially like vowels. There are two semi vowels in English V and Y. V is a bilabial semi vowel and Y is a palatal semi vowel. Both the semi vowels are voiced. Hope you have liked and enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.